Um, this is the launch time lecture series at the School of Architecture. Today is October the 10th, uh, and it is 12 p.m. 03. I'm very happy to introduce Joseto Cubilla, born in 1969. Joseto graduated from the Universidad Nacional de Asunción in Paraguay. In 2011, he was awarded the National Prize for Emerging Architecture by the Paraguay Association of Architects. In 2012, he received an award at the 7th Biennal Iberoamericana de Arquitectura, Urbanismo de Cádiz, uh, for his Pescador House in Villa Florida. In 2016, he was awarded the 10th Biennale Iberoamericana de Arquitectura y Urbanismo in Sao Paulo for his San Francisco building. Also in 2016, he was awarded the first prize at the 20th Biennale Panamericana de Arquitectura in Quito for his Takuru house. And he was appointed Arquitecto de las Americas by the Federación Panamericana de Asociaciones de Arquitectos. Again, in 2016, he was a nominee for the Miss Crow Hall, the famous America's Emerging Architects Award at the Illinois Institute of Technology, College of Architecture in Chicago. He received a Swiss Architectural Award in 2017 and has a successful practice in his hometown of Asunción. Joseto has taught in Argentina, Paraguay, Mexico, Uruguay, and in many other countries around the world. In fact, he just arrived to Asunción from Mexico City about, I mean, a few hours ago. Joseto is the second Latin American architect to hold the online visiting critic position at the School of Architecture of the University of Miami. Please welcome, Oseto Cuilla. Hello, thank you for, <clears throat> for the introduction. Thank you for the invitation. And well, I'm sorry for my English is very basic. I hope that we can <clears throat> uh, understand some concepts and some um, things that I want to say to you. And it's an honor for me to be with you today. Um, I just want to Thank Jaime too for all these uh, support in these classes. Well, um, well, I, I'm going to try to make a synthesis and say of our our work. Maybe uh, share some constructed stories and some concepts of our country, of our philosophy. A uh, little walk through Paraguay just to understand where we're working. Um, well, I'm going to share my computer and start the lecture. <clears throat> okay, if you can see the... If I don't remember some words, maybe Jaime can help me a little. <laughs> okay. ¿Se escucha bien, Jaime? Sí, no problem, no problem. Okay, because I hear a, like an echo. Hmm? Um, well, I have a lot of photos and I'm, I'm gonna try to go fast because I don't wanna be, uh, there has to be a, just a little introduction of what are we trying to do. And this is the flyer of our class. It's like a photograph of, of an indigenous people and, and the devastation of our territory about, we are trying to, understand the impact in the, the, of the architecture in, in our places and what are what is the concept that I, I, I understand of being a contemporary architect, uh, understanding what are we doing today in the places. I'm just trying to, to um, I'm, I have a lot of uh, question about that and I just want to uh, explore that with all, all the, the students every time. And where we are uh, a Mediterranean country, a land without sea, and we're in the middle of South America. This is a, a, the, our, our position in, in South America. And we, if we make a zoom, maybe we don't have the sea, but we have uh, the lakes and rivers and we have a, 
how do you say a uh, water under the ground of, of, of the the Guaranian aquifero? How do you say aquifero? Um, an aquifero. It's, there's a lot of water under aquifer. Okay, aquifer. thank you. Amen. And this country is is divided by the River Paraguay. The River Paraguay is um, from it, it comes uh, from Mato Grosso goes to the Rio de la Plata and divide the country in two: uh, the south and the north. The north is empty; it's 10 percent of the population is in the north. And in the south, there's a 90 percent of the people. It's it's a more green place. The north is more arid near Bolivia, right between Argentina and Brazil. And this is our situation, subtropical uh, climate. Uh, Asuncion is like a little city in the middle of, these, uh, of this river, of these two, two regions. And this is like a, a picture that I always make uh, like, uh, um, how do you say, uh, homenaje. Uh, of, um, uh, my father I is a- my, my. Yes, thank you. <laughs> My father is a scientific. He was professor of Cornell University, a pathologist. And when I was a child, I, I always was looking around with his microscope, looking these tissues like skin tissues. And I was always looking about, looking at like um, playing with these pictures and like um, think about art, something, maybe a place in, in, in some, some uh, galaxies. We, don't, we didn't have Google Earth. And then I was always imagining these, these imagines. And when my, my scientific father tells me that this is a tissue with problems, where there are red points that are um, eating the other points, and that is a metastasis, the cancer that is, it, it, it is uh, making damage to the tissue. That was a, a very, very hard for me. And I, I thought these tissues maybe in other scales. I learned about the scales. There's no scale to the cancer. We can make these red points. We can make it like architectures in the geographical uh, tissues. And, and that thing, I think that, that was uh, what happens in the city. When we see the different scales, like a skin or the city, we're doing the same thing. We're, we're just fighting about what we have to do today. And that was uh, something that I was very concerned. What are, are like architecture, what are we gonna do in the, in, the, in the places? How is the impact of what are we doing in these beautiful places? And I think that we have beautiful places that are, we are losing. And this is Asuncion and, and all the border of the river. And now there are um, changing, there are like big places for the cars and these like bridges and we are losing a lot of, a lot of information, a lot of layers. And, and I always um, think about that. We have to, have to think about how are we are going to act in these places. This is Asuncion from the Chaco, it's an empty place. And down, this is the view of the Chaco from Asuncion. And we can see that Asuncion has a place with a lot of trees, beautiful colors. And we are um, bilingual. We, are, um, we, we, we speak Spanish and Guarani. This is an indigenous uh, language. And there are some words that are the concept that I wa want to tell you about, like the recipro reciprocity uh, concept of the Guarani is very nice. Uh, 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 that's a, a Guarani words that uh, is water, uh, uh, is, is earth, and uh, 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 is the tree. The tree has the two words. It's the uh, and the uh, uh. That means that the tree is a consequence of the place with water. And we, we, if you don't have a place, we, we, we have to, uh, have to make attention to, with, with, uh, with what we do in the place. Um, there were no trees, there were no oxygen, there were no life. And that is very nice. That is, that is a, a ceramic thing that we have um, in Paraguay. We drink a lot of water we, because there's a heat here and the terere is like the cold mate. Um, and I think that the picture of, of uh, the, the teco word is another word very nice. That means when we say hello to someone, we say bae teco. Teco means spirit. Uh, it means um, alma, soul. How is your soul? How is your, your life? That is a, a nice uh, hello for us every day. And, and the tree in this picture is very interesting because the, 
um, how do you say the the shadowness is very important for our country, and and these these streets of Paraguay where the water gets in the ground and where we have these these atmospheres atmospheres with a smell and and this green it's a, it's a hot country but with this green it's not we can support it but now we are celebrating um, the the cement and the asphalto and and the, the civilization that's changing and getting all the trees down i think we have to think about what are we doing and um, don salustiano and these kids uh, with the, with the, with the, how do you say under the the shadowness are, are very uh, eloquent, son muy eloquent, eloquent, how do you say eloquent? Eloquent, yeah, that's right. Yes, it's eloquent. Yeah. And well, we don't have uh, earthquakes or, or, or problems in Paraguay, but the floods are a problem and the people are not waiting for the government to resolve their problem. They don't need architects, they just, they just do it. They just uh, are waiting for the water and making their, their, uh, their houses on the, the walls or, or what they have. I think they're a very intelligent in thing that, that they do. We have a, a, a country with a lot of problem of social difference. You can see the house of the ex-military president and the people that are going around. And this is a, 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 a how do you say, contrast of our country. In the North, we have this arid, a, a, a low a forest, hot a ch chaco, uh, that there's no people there. But it's very interesting because there are the, the last indigenous that are in the forest and, and they have a lot of messages that are very interesting for me. And that, that's why they are um, using the resources that they have in a very hostile place. And these are the ayoreos they are losing their places, but they, they just made some refuges or houses with what they have inside, uh, what, what they have in near. And these are some messages very interesting. They just use the land, they use the trees, they use the, the greenness of the place. And we can see a person with a, with a, a pamoy that is a, it's a chair. I have it here in my, in my hand. It is, is made with the plants of the place it's a beautiful design. It's just one line. It's not. A, it's a chair, and it's it's this. They can get their uh, honey from the trees. They can get the, the um, carry their kids or the 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 what they eat in 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 these huntings. And I think always that the pomoy is a, a s essential way that we can see architecture. We can think something with a good design, a very we have a very beautiful uh, craft um, uh, tejido. I don't know how we say tejido. Um, um, web, like, web. Yes, uh, like a web. And a very, uh, I think it's very, very nice message about what we can do with a transport. We can transport our, our chair anywhere and use it for a lot, of, a lot of things. If we can think about that, like architecture, like the Pamoy, I think we have we can have a lot of problems resolved. Um, I just want to the, the word coñón is very nice. They call us coñones, the white people. Um, that they th it, it means people that do things with no sense, with no sense. They, it's like what are you doing? It's incredible what are you doing in the land in the in the in the and they're losing their their their, their things. They are these drawings are for them from them and they are like the memory of the places that they lost, uh, places with water, with a lot of animals. And I like, like this picture because it's like a, a picture when you can see the, the section and the plant at the same time, you can see all the forest in, 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 in the place of the animals and, and different views and like they, they, they imagine them. And they lost that, that those places. Like now are these drawings, and there are a critic of what are we doing in these places, and they are very uh, terrified what's happening with the world. And this is uh, the the consequence of a good uh, a, a, a country that it's not bad economic in the economy because there is a lot of soja and 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 cows, and but there is an impact in the places that could be very very bad. Um, this is a drawing of Le Corbusier when in 1929 came to Paraguay and he made a, 
a critic to Buenos Aires in the South, but he came here just like um, just like two hours and he was drawing the, the, the territory. You can see the, the horizon, uh, the, the, the earth, the red earth and the flowers and the people. He said that in Paraguay, you don't have to do, it's not consummated, Conti, contaminado. How do you say contaminated? Contaminated. Contaminated. Yes, contaminated. Thank you. And he, he said, you just have to look what you have here and, and, and have a per different perspective of not bringing and other things here. Um, well, these colors are, are very, very nice in Paraguay. We have these colors in the ground and the trees and the flowers. And these we are elements that I think we don't have to paint nothing in here. <laughs> and that's why the materiality, I am very interesting of a low impact. I am very interesting of how do we can put two stones together with these great craftsman people and how we can use these, these stones and design them with them. They are um, um, carpenters, great carpenters that we can use from some elements, some, some knowledge and our knowledge and make these happen and, and knowing what each other and designing and with, with the essential material that we have and, and putting them in, in an interest way maybe or making designs. Now I'm gonna show you some, 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 some works and this is one of the, the, the first one. And then I was, I learned that a place has, we are inviting a place, we're getting, we're, we're in a place we have to be very gentle with it. And maybe we make a little destruction and I want to redeemir, how do you say redeemir? Redeem, uh, redeem. redeem. And sometimes with, with, with them and all uh, um, private, um, projects for me are always public. That's why the view of the lake is very nice. Um, and I, I, the people that were uh, there, uh, they, they can see the view and, and, and we make the house after that. And this is just uh, 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 the plant, the concept of using the, the stones of the place and making the plant, the, this, uh, this house, this is one of my first house, and when we use the craftsman of the place, the bricks, the, the technology, the possibility of use just a few materials and just make these uh, fresh house in, in, in this place happen. And this was one of my first works that I learned that we can think about a place and, and design the place. This is a fisherman house. And it's another place, it's about 200 kilometers from Asuncion. A uh, friend of mine that makes is a fisherman, and we there was a tree when and we 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 eat good fishes there. I just we just a trap with the 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 shadow of this tree and made a little house for for the place. And this is a nice little uh, house where with a low uh, you say presupuesto budget budget yes, and that we use all the elements that we have there. And the, the 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 wood of the concrete, um, we use it for the for these um, how you say doors and everything, and always with the materials of the place, and the, the idea to have a, a house that could be open that we can close it. Um, this is um, I'll just show the, the 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 possibility of of the using the bricks and these breeze that we have from from the river and the view of the river, and that's another one. I have a, just speaking fast because I have a lot of projects with the, 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 the with, with bricks and then with earth, ram earth, I don't know, we have the time to, to show them all, that's why. This is Arapitu. Arapitu is a, is a study house that we have that, um, it's very nice, this word of Guarani word, Aras de Pitu is a shadow. And the, 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 the both words means atmosphere in Guarani. And that's the place in this hot country where we are happy in the shadowness. That's why Arapitu means atmosphere. This is a, a, a view of the house, but we can see nothing because there's a lot of trees. It was a opportunity to think about a place like a scientific. I always think that we are like uh, making balance between art and sci science. That is architecture. And I think that was something of my father 
when I was just being playing with these pictures and the science is the reality. We have to be precise in the place. And, and that was, we made these, this concept of making a house and, 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 and with a lot of trees and be very kind with it. And the house is making these structures, uh, walls that are um, in the place with a topography, we are moving between the, the, the trees. And we have these three elements of the, the platform, the roof, um, and the connection with, with these, these um, displays. Um, well, you, you can see it uh, that there is a, there's a topography, a section, and the possibility that we have not a house in the wood, in, in the forest, it's the forest in the house. It's, it's in, and then we, we just um, think, think about this place like um, uh, putting this platform and, and where we don't have uh, trees, we may make water and the connection in this, this place um, is very nice. And there are a lot of animals and a lot of um, beauty of, of nature. Well, these are some little um, places that we just discover, like the bathroom, the connection of the, the, the of all the, the function of the house. And we have the, the roof, we have um, the urban, uh, how do you say, uh, food and green and a lot of oxygen. And, and that, that is the, this, this project. In this other project, La Foresta, this was an opportunity and outside of Asuncion, the capital, there's a lot of, I think in all Latin America and every part, there's a housing, like making a lot of little houses for the people, like all the same. This was an opportunity to make them, but I just changed the rules. And I, I, they, they tell me to make eight houses, one between each other. And I thought that we can use all these these, um, how do you say, terrenos or solares, lotes? Yeah, lots, lots. Lots, and put them together that we have a lot of trees there and not make eight departments, make 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting for, for them. And I just draw uh, just a few, few ideas and make this happen. This is uh, the place where we made 14 um, um, departments and put them like in the shadowness and everybody can use these places, discover these places, be between the, the, the trees and know each other. The, the possibility that you can and, and, and see someone uh, say hello, might be cool and drink some terere that, like we do together and make these pl places in, in, in this. I, I think this was a exploration of that and now it's all uh, with a lot of people. These are just images of the, the of this project. Now, for finish the bricks, the brick moment. This is another scale, the San Francisco building that I made, and the apartments in a place with a lot of trees, with a lot of ceramics, and with a orientation. There's a hot a sun in the front, and I made this project for um, understanding these these problems. And well, this is just departments that we make some use of uh, some, some these um, possibilities of, of curved walls to get the water or the rain for our insulation. And that was a house that was in the place. And I, I used the, the recycle of that house that we then made some part of the, of the building, et cetera, et cetera. The filter, of, of, the, of the light is very important. And the possibility that inside we can um, use this ventilation is very important. It's almost more important than the sun. And that's why we, we get inside and we just can look about this neighbor and, and the city of Asuncion from, from these uh, terraces, terrazas, uh, balcones. I don't know how to say that, <laughs> but uh, we can. Well, this roof with uh, this like a carpet of bricks, we use the water gets between them and we use them. And these are the flowers of the place, the connection with the street, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, now our, this is the 
uh, a moment very interesting for me because we learn about doing, making Earth, RAM Earth uh, projects. And there was an opportunity um, after 15 years, after we made a little house and nobody believed in the system. And this was an opportunity to make a house in, 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 for a family in, 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 in Paraguay. And we learned to make bricks and these ram earth walls. And we use the, the earth of the place, give them water for their animals, like a recipiente, a place for their animals, water for their animals. And with that earth, we made two systems, the brick and the walls. And, and, and with this, these two systems, we, we didn't have a budget, a, great, a, a, a lot of money for make this. And we just uh, make the, a system of ventilation that was very nice and and it, it, it's very very um, good cost. It has a good cost. Well, here are some images of these these places, interiors with a lot of protection of the the light and very fresh. And the curve and the the roof is is a consequence of of not bringing another material from. An, it's very hard to get there, and that's why we just. Think about the, the Sumerian, the Roman, and just make the roof with, with what we have there. The interior is very, very, very comfortable. Um, and there is a, a, a fresh place for a country, for our country, or this place. Well, we have like 86% of the, of the material was from the place. And just we have just a few concrete structures for some places. And well, this is uh, some images. This is a beautiful place. We're inspired like termites that we can see in the nature, um, little bugs <laughs> that's in there, in the place. Uh, they're very incredible. They make a good ventilation for their, for their, their site. And the queen is always um, cool in, 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 in their refugees. Um, it was an inspiration. Um, well, I have two more things to show you. Um, this is the Mirikina house. It's a new house that I made with Gram Earth. And it's very interesting because um, it's in the site near the house of Arapitu. And they love the Arapitu house. And I told them, maybe, maybe we can not make so much impact in the place. And let's make a, a, just in one point of this forest, because there are Mirikinas. Mirikina is a monkey, very nice, that is a visitor. And a lot of another, there are foxes and, and iguanas and a lot of nature there. And in this house, it is a very bad place for the water. It was, it's not, how do you say, absorbente. The water gets in, the, it's like an island of a, of a stone with, a, with the house. It's like a like, sponge. It's like yeah. a sponge. Of course. Yes, thanks. And it's like an island there. And this is the, 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 the idea where we made a little house for uh, for uh, uh, a woman that makes um, a, how do you say yoga and it's a very spiritual place and we can see this um, this house and in the construction where we have uh, how do you say levels half levels and it has a great ventilation and a connection with the place and like we are um, discovering some some places of, of this forest. And the lightness is very nice and the materiality and the geometry and the, the weight of this house is, is very interesting, very simple, very essential. And the interior is very, very, um, uh, very, very nice for the ventilation. Um, well, these are some colors. You can see the colors of of all our constructions are, we don't paint nothing, just the materials. Um, well, there are some, some things from the trees and nets from, sometimes we work there with, with, with um, the students. And here is uh, the craftsman to drink his, his terere there, the interior and how it impacts in the place. And these are some plans where we can see it's very nice, functional, like, uh, how do you say, espiral? We are, we are, yeah, we are discovering the, 
the functions we are getting over the, the on the roof and the yoga place, some water, um, the connections, um, little little connections with, with the place, the possibility of, of, of connecting the places, the different kind, the different, um, how do you say, uh, alturas, uh, sections, height, height, height. Of, of every space. And this is water that is for his spiritual moment and the wood, the, the forest and the terrace and the possibility to make uh, a better place with this problem. I think we can have the possibility to make these ecologic um, um, pools when, where we can have a, a possibility to, to understand this, the site, make a low impact. And with this uh, system is very, very um, friendly um, using the, the, the earth, the land earth, ground earth. And this last project that I, I prepared for you is like the consequence of this investigation. And there's another scale. Wait, here is a, the construction um, where we made in this like um, rural uh, thing that every, everybody thinks that's very rural use land earth. And it, it was a opportunity to, to make um, uh, a piece of that uh, in, in the city, like an urban um, structure. And we made this happen and, and it was a nice experience because it was a very silent building in a place that we are is never invited to make a building. And, and I think there was a, a possibility to, to um, make uh, like uh, this urban little building and the possibility to, to be friendly with the place and, and how do you say, bake a gift with green and, and earth with these uh, little uh, departments and the, the important thing that these two uh, uh, prismas or boxes of, of, of earth have a connection uh, in, with the community in, 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 the, in this place where there are, are like plants and, and, and they know each other. And the, the, the building is very simple. It's in just six departments, uh, part, apartments. And uh, the last, both last apartments are with, with more bigger. Um, these are images of, of this little building. The scale is very nice. I always want make, to make this building have a step, how do you say, a back step to have a little public space and where you can be there and know the, the neighbors and, and have a little, um, how do you say, oxygen of this building. Uh, and then um, the, the, the little building, I think it fit okay in this, in this neighbor. And here the connection with between all the apartments where well it's there's a lot of animals it's pet friendly and and well it's very interesting because it has a, a night of ventilation and how is my English I'm trying to do my best I, I think I, I'm repeating a lot of words because that's all my the limit of my <laughs> okay um, sorry for I'm a little how do you say yeah. Uh, with problems with my throat. Yes, yes, I'm very came from a trip. I'm very a little tired, but I'm okay. Um, well, this is very nice because this is a place that has a connection with this, with a, with a neighbor, and has has a connection with the people that live there, and everybody has their own plans and their all all moments, and and this is now the how it is it now now it's more comfortable. There are some different smells and beautiful. Uh, there are, how do you say, butterflies and more, more birds in the place. And it's very, very nice. I think that that was the intention to live in the place, make it 
try to make it better and try to the people that live there uh, have a, a good 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 time too and um, well these are the last images sorry for the lot of photographs um, the the view also is very nice from the from the roof the impact like a gesture making a, a place to be in in the neighbor and this is how it's going now with the plants it's getting protected it's getting the shadowness that we want and we can see that asuncion is has a lot of green places that's the river of paraguay and the city is just a few blocks there the impact how can we can see and look the how we are in the in the in the place i think it's a nice photograph of of the roof and we are part of the neighbor and that is the last photograph well thank you very much i think i went too fast but i don't have too much words to, to explain a, another way <laughs> and i don't know how much it was my time three minutes no no that was great okay um, so I wonder if anybody has any questions. Uh, first of all, Joseto, thank you very much for allowing us to see your work. Um, so I was saying that the, mm. the, every time that you use the words ventilation, lighting, and landscape, somehow the perception, the phenomenological perception of the three words always meant something different regarding the spaces that you were showing us. And that to me was a happy surprise. Now I have a question. The color of the bricks, sometimes very light, sometimes very dark. Are the, the positioning and the design of the colors of the brick purposeful? I mean, or are they simply placed by the um, craftsmen and by pure luck, you end up with beautiful walls that contain all these shades of uh, brick colors. How, it, how does it work? Do you design the positioning of the brick colors or is it come, I mean, does it come just by luck, by pure luck? Um, well, uh, the bricks that we use are uh, maybe uh, every every part of Asun of, of Paraguay has a color. In the north, there are there are more uh, how do you say uh, with more clay and more dark. In the in the south, we're they're more red. In the east, they're more white. And when I'm in the east, we use it with with uh, with that the, the color of the place. That's why I think that the the possibilities of looking the environment or the resources for me is very important because I think I, I, I we design with the calculator and the resources of the places and the, the circular economy is very interest we are interested in, in, in make the, the 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 projects constructed in the places with all that we can have in the place and I think that is a just a philosophy of our, draw, our job. I don't say we can use red bricks in the East, but um, I think it, that's what we, I don't know if that was the, the, the question. Yeah, and, and one, more, one more question before I let the rest of um, my colleagues intervene and the students. Just out of curiosity, I saw that your rammed earth buildings have concrete slabs. No? What is the thickness of the walls in a ram earth building, more or less? Do they vary or are they kind of standard like what you will have with a brick, a normal brick building? I mean, are there 20 centimeters, 40 centimeters, a meter? What is the typical thickness of a wall when it's built with ram earth? Um, there are um, va variations, variable, there are variations. different, yeah, there are variations. There are, uh, we always use um, uh, 
they have to be very thick for, for the, as you say, inertia, the, the temperature variations. They're very nice when they are very thick because there are a time that we can um, make a place better with the humidity and, and when the land gets hot and there's, I think it, and we use it about 30, 40 centimeters and sometimes 50, <laughs> but um, we use it in 15, 15 and 22 in, in the interiors that we don't need that, um, that, that um, how do you say? Um, I saw, uh, insulation, insulation. Yeah, insulation and it's more with the economy, right? It's like, like you don't need to, to have too much uh, earth in in some 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 places. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I open it to uh, Dean or Joel, maybe one of the students. If you want to ask questions, yeah, okay. we'll be glad. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I'm happy to ask questions. Uh, if if, uh, if I'm not getting anybody else's way, I'll, I'll ask one really quickly. Um, so first of all, I mean, the work is, is is so beautiful and elegant. I'm really was happy to see the lecture today is really, really lovely. Um, I, I think that, you know, when I look at the work that people are doing with rammed earth, and I think you presented this well, um, so much of it is about kind of local materials and local availability and a kind of... Um, you know, the labor context, <clears throat> excuse me, in which you're working. And there are others, uh, you know, in the American context and elsewhere who are looking at rammed earth uh, for those benefits. And I, I would just like to ask you, I guess, a question about technology, right? <laughs> Maybe this feels a little left field, but, you know, I think that certainly our students, certainly I am uh, dealing with questions of like, you know, what the future of architecture looks like, right? Like in this, you know, times of, of various kinds of crisis, ecological crisis that you mentioned and economic and social upheaval and the like, you know, we're confronted with a couple of visions of architecture, one of which is uh, the sort of high technological vision, right? That like we're gonna, uh, you know, have robots making buildings and, you know, digital fabrication, salvaging things, and others which have, um, I wouldn't say regress, but have turned towards a kind of simplicity as the answer to some of these 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 futures, right? Um, and th and those people, I think that you're in the latter camp. But I'm just wondering uh, if you could speak a little bit on that. If you if you feel like that's a kind of a, like a, a an ethical position that you have about things, um, or or what you think maybe the role of technology is even in your work. Um, yeah, hopefully that's not too much. No, it's a it's it's. I think it's very interesting. What are you? That's a, for a great debate, <laughs> and and I think um, uh, I always think that um, I'm not against the technology. I think that there's a, a problem that the great technology. Uh, I, I just once um, heard uh, Soto de Moura, this great master Portuguese, said when I was in um, in Venice, and I, I I heard him in a in a master class. He said. Well, um, only the, I think the, the, the Swiss people can be ecological today because the most of the people, people of the world doesn't have the money to, to get these great uh, technology. And probably we have a, a, a technology uh, with these bio materials uh, good for, for, for the places and that are from Germany, but only the banks can buy that. There's a bank that has all these three thick uh, glasses with, and et cetera, et cetera. And, and if you know that we have just, I don't know, in, in Paraguay, less than 1% of the people works with architects. They just work, they just make the, 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 their places. And I think we can learn about these, um, the simplicity of how they, they, they make their life happen. And there are a lot of information like this Ayoreo example that they are not architects, they're indigenous that use the resources, use the, the green that they have in, in, in their place and make a beautiful place, a, a more um, comfortable place 
in a hot place like hostile place like the Chaco. And I think we are not looking um, these elements, this low uh, technology, can we can make it uh, dignif dignified, I don't know, digno in a, in a, in a time like, like today. That is a discussion I have all, the, all day with my students. What are the contempor contemporary, it's not like, uh, uh, how do you say, moda? It's like, how do you fashion. say moda? Fashion, fashion. No. Fashion, like fashion. I mean, like Ma moda, like yeah. uh, like the the um, the clothes. Like a style. Like yeah, a style. style. It's not a style. style. It's style. not a fashion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the we, we if we understand what happened the the industry revolution, there was beautiful matters and great architecture consequence about of that. I I think we 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 are in a time that we have to think if we are, have to do the same thing. And that's that, that's a discussion. If, if we have to make the use of the, that that those materials, they are very have a consequence in the world for using these these great materials. But now we can uh, think that is it appropriate to use them the same way? Um, I think that we uh, we can learn about doing other ways, making great architecture, um, but using some. Maybe this, this low architecture way that can make us understand that you don't need a, 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 a heat a, a air conditioner 24 hours a day when you just have a good design. The consequence of bad designs is that we use technology in, in, a, in a way that it's like, um, like we just forgot the, our design. We, we, we let the technology to resolve our bad designs. I think we have to make better designs and use technology, but why not? But I think we can have better better world if we understand what is what are we doing in this time? In Asuncion, we have a lot of problems. Now everybody is happy because we have new bridges, uh, but new, how do you say, uh, viaductos, access to the city, but the access are over a park where there are oxygen and you're making uh, buses and cars over a place that is making oxygen for us and they're killing them. Uh, and I, it's incredible. We, I, th I think we're not thinking about the consequence of wh what are we doing? That, uh, that's why that, that picture of the metastasis of what we're doing are in the in all issues in the geographical issues and like our skin right? and and there's no scale for for the damage that we can we can make i don't know if i answered your question Joe. <laughs> no I, I think that's great i think it's a great answer i mean i especially like the the premise that that you know with technology often we are i guess the expression would be you know um chasing uh, uh, or putting good money after bad, right? Where, where we, we use it as a kind of way to, to compensate for our inadequate thinking and the sort of fundamental architectural perspective about climate and about placehood. And, and, and I think that that's very well put. So I appreciate your answer a lot. Thank you. Okay. One more thing, one more thing about the, the point. Um, maybe I, I always, I don't know why the people invite me for these sustainable uh, meetings. And I always say that um, that is not the, our, our motive, it is architecture. Um, the, our, the sustainability is the ABC of, of our investigation. It's not the objective of our architecture. And that's why I, I, don't, I don't feel that I am and I, I'm a sustainable architecture. Uh, like, uh, I, and I, I always say to, when they invite me, to give the green card or the green prize to the ayoreos, to the indigenous, because they don't, they don't need, need no impact. And, and I, I always say that I'm not against the technology. I think that if they, that can, technology can get in the hands of the 99% of the people, this world will be saved. But it is not, it's, not, it's not gonna happen <laughs> because no, it's very expensive. Is it, 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 but well, I just that's what I think, but it's not the 
uh, manifiesto. It's not, it's just, uh, uh, I, feel, I believe that. <laughs> So great conversation, but I'm gonna to have to stop it right here because we have a class in this room that starts in about one minute. Yes. So you're all welcome. You're all welcome to join Professor Jose Tocubilla in his studio. He teaches in the afternoons from 1.20 to 4.50 Mondays and Wednesdays. If you're interested, drop me an email at jcorrea at Miami at EDU, and I'll give you the Zoom ID uh, where he's joining his students. I just, uh, Jaime, I want to just, before yes. you finish, thank Jose for the great lecture, amazing work. Actually, I, during the lecture, I was texting some colleagues uh, across the US to uh, tune in, uh, but it was too late. It was unfortunate. <laughs> didn't do it fast enough, uh, but hopefully we can have a long version sometime, another time. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. So thank you, Joseto, for joining us. And, and we're so proud that you're being part of the faculty at the School of Architecture. And let us know when your final project is ready so that we can uh, look at the uh, results of the work with the students and have a great day. To the students, remember that there's a bake sale in the courtyard today. So please, I mean, be nice with the rest of the students and buy something. Um, okay, thank you very much you. and we'll see you. Bye-bye, thank you very bye -bye. much. Bye-bye, thank you. <laughs>